Okay, today we're going to talk about your chart of accounts in QuickBooks. If you remember from accounting, you had a chart of accounts that was a listing of all the accounts that the company has. So if we click Lists up here on the menu bar and choose Chart of Accounts, that will open up our listing or chart of accounts. Notice the order that they are listed in. Your assets are always listed first, and then your liabilities are listed, and we only have one at this time. And then your owner's equity accounts are listed, your revenue or income accounts are listed, and then all of your expense accounts are listed. Now what can you do in the chart of accounts? Well from here, we can edit accounts, create new accounts, and delete accounts. We're also going to learn how to create sub-accounts, and how to enter beginning balances in our accounts. So we are starting from scratch. This is a brand new business and uh, we need to set up our chart of accounts. So for example, up here I'm missing an account that I need and that is my checking account. So I need to go ahead and click on account new and this is going to be a bank account obviously. So we're going to click continue and we will name it Citibank Checking because that is going to be our checking account for our business. Okay, so now we need to enter an opening balance for our checking account. Um, obviously, we are going to start off with some money in our business, so I'm going to start us off with $10,000. And that's as of, we'll say, the beginning of the month and click OK. And then we hit Save and Close. And now we can see our chart of accounts has changed. We have a new account, Citibank Checking, with a balance of $10,000. Notice that our owner's equity, um, opening balance equity, actually has $10,000 in it also because we do, uh, our assets are, have to equal our owner's equity. All right, now we're going to learn how to edit an account. Let's say that I need to change the furniture and equipment account name. So I'm going to click on that account, hit the account button, edit account, and we want to name this computers. And we're going to hit save and close there. Another thing that you can do in the chart of accounts is create or add sub-accounts. Now, let's look at the accumulated depreciation account. A reason to have a sub-account is because a sub-account is something that it goes with its other account. So we are going to um, choose the accumulated depreciation account, and we are going to make it a sub-account of its fi fixed asset, which is the computer's account. So I'm going to click Edit Account, and I'm going to put a check mark in the check bar box where it says sub account of and then we choose what is it is a sub account of it is a sub account of its fixed asset computers and now notice that it is indented a little bit from the computers account okay sometimes you may need to delete an account uh, let's say that we do not use the mills and entertainment expense account and we never will so we are going to delete that account and it says, are you sure you want to delete it? I'm going to click OK, and that is deleted. Uh, one last thing that you can do is you can double click on an account. If I double click on the miscellaneous admin expense account, it opens up a quick report, and it would contain all of the transactions for that account, but we have none at this time. I can click, double click on the Citibank account that does have money in it, and it opens up what's called a register. So this is your checking register and it shows that you have a balance of $10,000. Okay, I'm going to close the chart of accounts. Okay, so what we need to remember is how to add a new account, edit an account, create a sub-account, and enter a beginning balance in an account. And you can do that by going Lists, Chart of Accounts to open up your Chart of Accounts list.